Happy Saturday, everyone. Another day, another NBA slate. We finally have seven games today. And for my YouTube faithful, I'm coming here and giving you a quick NBA video with my thoughts. Yesterday, we did pretty well. The TikTok live slip went 2x. They had a 10x win, and then they took away a rebound from Stewart, which pushed us back for 2x. That's back-to-back -back nights for 2x. The point is, 10x is coming. Make sure you get your heinies over there to TikTok live, and that is where we do our community slips every single day. It's totally free and we will crush with that in mind yesterday's video was pretty decent i think four out of the six that i gave out hit i had another 2x slip for my personal youtube i did a i had a decent day yesterday as you can see over here on chalkboard they were the first ones to give out the sharp news i took that prop it actually soared over i absolutely got it in early i wish i would have bet more paired it with these two guys my play of the day yesterday paul george on tiktok smashed my only regret is that i didn't include curry and fox and all all of those stacks up to those three those were very hitters very heavy hitters in perfect game environments and i should have been on it more i was luckily to, lucky to make some coin with it but today we move what do we got on tap for today well first things i want to say is that everybody needs to get in line and realize you've been hitting the last couple days more than normal because all the studs all the popular props everything like that has been hitting and it's blinding people from reality i've seen the worst of worst people taking props and it brings out the the worst in people all of a sudden everybody's a genius everybody knows everything i don't know anything but etc etc and the funny thing is this i'm gonna give you a story captain crutch story time real quick a former discord member i'm not gonna say any names this kid literally 18 to 19 shouldn't even be gambling no offense begged me for acknowledgement and affection over and over and i always knew the kid was off based on the things that he would say so i just ignored him okay i just ignored him then apparently he's been on a little winning streak the last two days apparently he's up 27 units in three days and decided to give me a message last night saying how i'm a bad youtuber i'm a bad person insulting my family my girl everything everything that you could think of just trying to get under my skin and the reality is i had to smack him back down into his reality which is he's nobody and nobody cares but i just thought i would mention that to tell you guys this if you think you can get under my skin okay if you think you can do that then be a man about it don't approach me with some little boy stuff crying about this crying about that this didn't hit that didn't hit bro you're following me okay i'm not doing anything you don't have to follow me if you don't want to buddy unsub unfollow i don't care okay there is a section a majority of people the good people the the real people that actually are getting help that know what's up i'm not gonna go and say names but they know who they are i talk to them on a daily basis in dms and everything else those core people if i had a discord or youtube or tiktok full of those people my god in heaven we would be great I i'm telling you right now we would be great i'm sorry i had to go on a little rant but you know some things just have to be said so the moral of the story is this if you got something to say to me if it's not positive keep it to yourself because i will smack you down into reality and you will never beat me on this microphone and that's an open challenge by the way open challenge to anyone if you think you can go toe to toe with captain crush on a live mic i offer my services to you i any one of my platforms tiktok youtube discord live you name it buddy i will see you there now let's get into the player props i was going off on a tangent because some people just need to hear it first things first i'm gonna go load up this handy dandy notepad people and i got a couple here that i want to talk about first let's go ahead and talk about tyrese maxi okay no james harden he's in a decent fast-paced matchup the the 76ers rely on him to get it done i like his shot attempts i like his points i like his rebounds plus assist before they bumped it to nine it was at eight and a half but the proposition that i want to talk about for youtube is going to be 18 and a half field goal attempted i normally don't like these propositions but i do like this here because he should be taking at least 20 to 21 shots with the amount of time he's going to be on the court the only way i don't see him getting this is if by some reason they either get blown out and they don't need him or he's just shooting so bad and he just randomly decides to stop shooting and starts assisting which is why i took his rebounds plus assist in one, his field goal attempts in another, and his fantasy score in another. I have it all mixed around, all evenly spread. I'm all over the maxi. I hope that we can get it now before he starts getting bumped up even higher. But with James Harden coming back, he'll probably bounce back to reality. So 
any one of those you want to target be my guest i absolutely like it today and as you can see here i have mr jalen brunson targeted and i'm gonna pull him up real quick who here remembers jalen brunson being the taco salesman from taco tuesday last season i do you do we all do what i like from him today again another field goal attempt 17 field goal attempts he's gonna be the primary score most nights he's gonna chuck up shots he should be chucking between 16 to 22 shots i absolutely like him here should be a decent game environment so i went ahead and took more there if you want to fade that and take the 23 and a half points more or even his fantasy score you can the only reason I'm shied off his fantasy score today is because I'm afraid that he gets a lot of turnovers and I could see him getting 34 fantasy points 34.5 because he had two turnovers that's gonna be my guess here I'm gonna say if he sells the fantasy he gets 34 and a half fantasy points because of turnovers but if he goes over great I have both spread out again another candidate where I have him all over the place you can take that or his field goal attempts again if you're skipping through these videos just looking for the props you're not gonna know what to take because I'm going all over the place I purposefully do it like that to challenge your brain to make you have to think if you just want a list of props you can join a discord or something like that but this ain't it this is for people who actually want to take time and improve their process okay i'm here to teach did you come to teach or be taught as terry silver would say karate kid 3 book it next we got mr josh akogi and this is going to be a wagon until booker and beal come back all right four and a half rebounds here for mr okogi i like his pra too at 17.5 i have both if you want to take a flyer on his points rebounds you can we were getting this at 10 and a half or 11 and a half the other day now it's all the way up to 14 and a half utah jazz no defense fast pace they're gonna have walker kessler down there but josh akogi's gonna have plenty of opportunities to get these rebounds we can go over here to outlier bet and you can see the last game he had eight game before that he had five i don't really count any of this stuff because he's on a to he's in a totally new situation and role in the offense he's starting consistently and again booker and those guys are out but what you can see is that uh utah jazz are ranked 17th and rebounds allowed and the line is minus 124 this is outlier bet by the way this is something that i promoted last season i still use it if you want to get a free 37 days of this just go to outlier bet app.outlier.bet or whatever and use promo code crush and you will get 37 days free and it's pretty good especially for football it's solid i'm telling you guys i wouldn't put my name on it if it sucked it's solid okay and the last four guys that i want to talk about tyus jones duran tillman and Bane. Let's talk about Bane real quick because everybody, even in my Discord, I was all over Bane yesterday. I'm not going to say I wasn't. I was. It was a good play. His fantasy score. Now, today, he's bumped up to 40 after he sold yesterday. Well, why did he sell yesterday? Well, he had two fouls right in the first five minutes and then he fouled again when he came back in. So, you know what? He was in foul trouble. That limits his equity. It limits his upside. That's just how it is. Now he's at 40. Washington, no defense, fast paced matchup. I absolutely like him here if you want to target it i took his points earlier at 25.5 it might have even been 24.5 i told the cord he's gonna bump up to 26 and a half people already put him on their ban list i have no idea why it's literally week one for nba but there you have it you can take his pra because it is it does have push equity his fantasy scores here i like it and the reason being he's averaging 1.16 fantasy points per minute if he plays 35 minutes he's gonna go over 40 fantasy points he should take over this game I hope he does. I don't have a lot of them. It's not a core play. He's a dart because I, ha I have other plays that I like, but he was worth mentioning because he sold yesterday. His line got moved up today, but that should tell you yesterday that he was a good play. And everyone wants to say, oh, the Denver Nugget matchup has nothing to do with it. Tillman and, and Jaron Jackson both went berserk in the same matchup. It, it's, that's not the reason why. He just had a bad night. He shot poorly, four for 17 to be exact, and he only played 32 minutes. That's normally not what he plays. He normally is going to play 36 to 38 minutes he'll normally play a lot of minutes he has a usage rate of 26 which means the ball's going to be in his hand a lot i like him next that same game tillman okay he could be a wagon this season 32 fantasy score 24 pra the reason i like the fantasy score is because it gives you access to the blocks and steals equity against the nuggets he had 35 i was really high on him yesterday at 29 against the pelicans he had 49 don't really care about those two things that's results oriented but what i do care about is the 1.2 one fantasy points per minute with a usage rate of 14 percent again the bigs never have a high usage rate unless it's somebody like towns these guys they don't have the ball a lot but when they do they're producing 1.2 fantasy points per minute do the math if he plays 30 minutes
minutes he's going to soar over most of the time. Again, these are season averages. These are averages. These are median projections, folks. Just because something doesn't hit that night doesn't mean it was the bad play. Do you guys ever play poker? If you go all in with pocket aces, you're not guaranteed to win every time, even though you had the nut hand. You're a four to one favorite. You can still lose. It happens every day. Okay. Next, it's going to be Durin. This man is on another level. Mr. Jalen Durin. You want to talk about a wagon? This boy be crushing. Chicago, they're poverty right now. I don't know what's going on in Chicago. I'm not interested in Chicago, but I am interested in Durin, his PRA, his points rebounds, his fantasy score. If you think he's going to get some blocks and steals, I know Vuce is on the other side, but I don't see him playing key defense on Jalen Durin. Jalen Durin has been locking that paint down. Give me the fantasy score. Give me the PRA. Dealer's choice. Pick your poison, whatever you want. If you want to target his rebounds, I believe there's still 10 and a half on chalkboard. It's 11 here. I think he does get 11, maybe not 12, but 11 for sure. He should get. I, I shouldn't say for sure because people read into that wrong, but he's a solid target. Okay. And the last guy I want to talk about is Tyus Jones. He's in that same matchup on the other side in that Memphis game. His fantasy score or his PRA, anything like that. This is a quote revenge game narrative. I like that. This guy does it all points, rebounds, assists. Hopefully he can have a good night. My model projects him for, I think, 31.5 fantasy points. So I don't really love it. But what I do love is that 1.16 fantasy points per minute. Okay. I do love that. If he can eclipse 28 to 30 minutes, he should cover this. Again, fast paced matchup. He should have a reason to play more hard than normal. I kind of like it. So there you go. Maxi, Brunson, Akogi, Tillman, Duran, Jones. Favored in least or best to worst, in my opinion. Remember, if you're just taking six legs every night and expecting to win something, you're outside your mind, son. Okay, so here I have parlay play and I have two NFL picks for you guys. This site is newer and they have a bunch of aggressive lines. That is their thing. They get a little bit too aggressive. So these two are absolutely crucial. And the good thing about this site is that you can slide the line on one entry per day up to $10. So you can literally take the under and move it over to 15 on Gus Edwards. So Gus Edwards, less than 14 and a half rush attempts slide the line over to 15. I love it. He'll need 16 to beat you. And then the combo pair, CJ Stroud and Bryce Young, less 467 and a half passing yards. This two man on parlay play is mint. Listen, you also can flex your two man. So if you flex it, if it hits, it's a pure double up. If it doesn't hit, you get half your money back. So if you were to bet 100, which is the max on their two mans because of this, you'd get 50 back if you hit one of two. And if you hit two of two, it's a double up, which is 200. That's awesome. It's a great bankroll builder. Use promo code CRUSH. They'll give you the bonus match. Plus, they have a bunch of other promotions they have. On top of that, you DM me. I throw in 30 days of the Discord. Now, with all that in mind, I have one final thing to say. I'm working on NFL projections for those of you that are in the Discord. I'm working on NFL video for those of you that are watching the YouTube. I'll have some DraftKings information, I hope. Listen, I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry about the rant earlier. I had to get it off my chest. I had to tell somebody, right? Because if I tell my girl, she's going to say, tell those kids to kick rocks. Appreciate it. Good luck in all your contests. Here's the salute. And as always, let's crush.